What's going on, everyone? Uh, this is Escape Radio. Uh, I'm Frankie Aki. It is August 20th, 2020. I uh, hope you're having a good week. It's almost over. Thank God. Hallelujah. Alhamdulillah. The album for this week is the self-titled album by a trio that go by the name of Bonnie Light Horseman. And um, this album, it delivers a very delicate balance of good lyrics, vocals, and composition. Uh, you might describe it as a 36-minute long melodic hypnosis session. Uh, I don't know shit about hypnosis, but hey, it sounds right. Uh, listening to songs like the title song of the album or Black Waterside or Lowlands. Uh, I imagine people from the ancient past singing songs that sounded like these. One of the things uh, this album is about is our relationship with the world. Uh, not on the conscious level, but more on the subconscious. Or maybe for some of us, this duality is the relationship between us and one other person in our life. Each song's a different story, a different expression of a feeling, idea, or value, yet with a consistent spirit throughout. And what you'll encounter along with these expressions are dramatic melodies that bleed both hope and despair a uh, sense of timelessness and simultaneously that the song is speaking to our current moment uh, these artists are communicating something and i think you want to listen uh, the songs in this album uh, are a relief uh, you know a relief from the quiet desperation that the current state of things has built up in each one of us uh, the trio that is Bonnie Light Horseman are Anise Mitchell, Eric Johnson, and Josh Kaufman. Uh, as a note, this is not the same Eric Johnson as the well-known guitar player, Eric Johnson. Uh, these are creme de la creme indie musicians, folks. Uh, one of these guys was a part of the Shins. Another one played with Bob Weir. Uh, Anise is in a world of her own completely and managing quite well. A uh, superb singer whose solo work you should also check out. Um, and this is the trio's first album, but hopefully not the last. And to illustrate what I'm talking about here one more time, here's a little bit from the song 10,000 Miles from Bonnie Light Horseman. Farewell for a while. I'm going away, but I'll be back. If I go 10,000 miles If I go 10,000 miles And the seas they will burn The single for this week is Hole in My Heart by Tinsley Ellis. Tinsley is a uh, guitar player from Atlanta, Georgia. Now, this song wasn't released as a single. Uh, it came out as part of his album, Ice Cream in Hell. Uh, and... While I can appreciate all the other songs on that album, I thought that this one was exceptional and a real achievement in the blues. So I thought it was worth talking about, you know, just by itself. The blues aren't just about being down in the dumps or hurt or heartbroken. You know, in all enduring popular genres of music, there's a ray of hope that lines every one of the great songs. And Tinsley Ellis's Hole in My Heart, I believe, belongs on that list. Uh, one thing you'll find very quickly while listening to this is this beautiful contrast between darkness and light. And you'll encounter a great guitar player who doesn't just want to reach your ears, but he wants to penetrate your soul. And we've all heard the, the blues by now. And there's even a cliched idea of what the blues sound like, you know, that uh, banana, banana, that thing. But 
you know, even though that sound is kind of foundational, even though that song is very, that that sound is common, uh, I think that the impression one gets from just sort of, you know, having this cliched uh, tune in our head about the blues, I think it creates this inaccuracy. I think it misses the point of what the genre is about. Uh, the blues aren't just about being hurt, but they're about the aftermath uh, and our struggle to look beyond that hurt and to and to see beyond loss. You know, the color in question here is the blue is blue, not black. And that ray of hope is what makes it blue. And it's about perseverance. I mean. Isn't that the point of art to to give us something that will help us persevere? Like all the memorable blues tracks that came before it, uh, Hole in My Heart accomplishes something that will never be copied. Uh, the magic of a great song is unique to that song, and that's why some that's why some of them will never go away. That's why some just continue to live in our hearts. So. With that said, here's a little bit from Hole in My Heart by Tinsley Ellis. I hope you like it. Ain't got a soul to laugh with When the sun comes peeking through The movie for this week is Swallow. Swallow was directed by Carlo Mirabella Davis. It stars Haley Bennett, Austin Stoll, and Elizabeth Marvel, who's one of my favorites. So Haley Bennett plays this girl who marries into this wealthy family, and immediately she's at their behest, there to serve their son, and by extension the parents as well. And this silent rage builds inside her, but she doesn't show it. And then she starts eating household objects. And... Then, you have to watch the movie to find out what happens. This is a compelling movie in large part because it's willing to take us to an uncomfortable place. It's willing to make us uncomfortable. Uh, A lot of movies, they beat around the bush in fear of you not liking them. Uh, But this movie doesn't give a shit about that. And that's a big reason why you will like it, I think. Uh, the film seeks to make you uncomfortable because that's what it depends on for dramatic effect to properly tell its story. There's a revelation, but the revelation is not the point. It's what takes place concurrently with the revelation. It's not so much what the character knows for most of the film that we don't, but rather it's about how she takes back control in her life. And that's where you're going to get the point of this film. Yet this is a subtle story. Uh, It has a composed demeanor throughout, all the while harrowing and morally shocking. Uh, It's metaphorical. Um, And I don't use that word lightly. You know, it's metaphorical to to the fire burning inside this character all her life, all the while pretending like nothing's wrong. Swallow was released on June 5th, 2020. Uh, I hope they decide to re-release it later this year because it's a shame for this film not to get its due press. The film was released by IFC Films and it runs 94 minutes. I hope you see this movie. And that will be it for this week. Uh, You guys have a great weekend. Have a great Friday tomorrow. And I'll talk to you next Thursday. And to take us out, here's a clip from Swallow. Do I make you happy? I'm the happiest man in the whole world. I love everything about you. Every little thing. You're not mad at me? About what? The drapes? I don't know. I just want to make sure I'm not doing anything wrong. You're not. You couldn't do anything wrong, even if you tried.